Okay. So at uh, third, roughly 30 yards from the truck, and I didn't bring these out here. These were here when we got here. But um, I haven't done any zeroing with that scope. I just took it off the 223 and put it on the 300 blackout. That was my point of aim at 30 yards. That's where it hit. So pretty close. I'll use that for my point of aim. And uh, we'll back up 100 yards and see where I'm hitting. All right, 100 yards. Fire extinguisher. 300 blackout. Let's see if I can avoid uh, pulling a suit on the hood of my car. Take a look. Well, I managed to avoid hitting my hood, but I couldn't hit down range. Let's try again. malfunction of the gun. Uh -oh. Well, I got a round in the chamber and it won't freaking uh, won't extract. So. Uh, yeah, there's something around here. I can see it. Oh, it looks like a primer came out of the freaking bullet. That malfunction. Uh, something's jammed in here. But that's the bad news. Good news is I hit the target. So let's go check it out. So, I've, oh, I guess you're wondering why the uh, the stoppage occurred. The gun fired, it ejected the cartridge, it advanced the next round into the chamber, and it didn't go all the way in the battery, and it locked up. Couldn't extract it, couldn't pull the the um, the charging handle back, and it was sticking the the uh, bolt carrier group was sticking back far enough to where it was engaging the um, the buffer tube and I couldn't even pull the lower off so I ended up slamming the butt of the gun into the back of my truck you know the bumper of the truck while I was pulling down on the charging handle and it finally uh, you know finally cycled and cleared the jam 
That was the culprit right there. The primer came out of the, the case. The primer got stuck uh, between the, uh, the bolt carrier group and the, the top of the uh, upper receiver and <clears throat> it would not allow the thing to, uh, to, to go home. So it had to beat on a little bit. Anyway, I need to get some uh, man-sized targets and really zero this thing in. But that was the uh, the issue with the with the stoppage. It was not gun related. It was ammunition related. This is what I was shooting. Remington UMC, 120 grain. Yep. I brought my uh, Mosin Nagant out today too, and uh, I took a little bit of video, but uh, it was so sunny and bright out here today that I had a hard time seeing the screen on my, my phone, and the video that I took was all in time lapse, so I don't have any audio to go along with it. So I'll just have to, I'll just have to go out and reshoot that video just for you guys. I know, it's such a burden, but uh, I'll, I'll do it for you. I did another upgrade on the Mosin. And uh, you know, we can, maybe we'll take that thing off the stock and I'll show you what it was. And take it out and shoot it some more. But in the meantime, you have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep your powder dry, and have a splendid day. Bye for now.